Imagine you're in the middle of a war zone, missiles are raining down from the sky, and you have nowhere to hide. That's the reality for many Israelis who live near the Gaza Strip, but they have a secret weapon that has changed the game. The Iron Dome Defense System, a technological marvel that intercepts rockets in mid-air, has saved countless lives and has become a symbol of Israel's military strength. But that's not all. By subscribing to our channel and hitting the bell icon, you'll be the first to know about our latest videos and updates on the Iron Dome system. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and join the ranks of Iron Dome enthusiasts today. And don't forget to smash that like button to show your support for this remarkable technology. Let's get started. The history of Israel's Iron Dome defense system dates back to the early 2000s when Israel faced a growing threat from rockets fired by Hamas and other militant groups in the Gaza Strip. These rockets were mostly short-range and crude, but they posed a serious threat to Israeli civilians, particularly those living in towns and villages near the border. In response, Israel began developing a missile defense system that could intercept and destroy incoming rockets before they hit their targets. The first system developed was the Aero Missile Defense System, designed to intercept long-range ballistic missiles. However, this system was too expensive and too large to be deployed in the areas where most rocket attacks occurred. In 2007, the Israeli military began working on a new missile defense system called the Iron Dome. The Iron Dome was designed to intercept short-range rockets and had several advantages over the Aero system. It was smaller, more mobile, and less expensive, making it easier to deploy in areas that were vulnerable to rocket attacks. The development of the Iron Dome was a collaborative effort between several Israeli defense companies, including Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, the Israel Aerospace Industries, and Elta Systems. The system was first deployed in 2011 and has since been used to intercept thousands of rockets fired by Hamas and other militant groups. The Iron Dome works by using advanced radar systems to detect incoming rockets and calculate their trajectory. If the rocket is heading towards a populated area, the system automatically launches an interceptor missile to intercept and destroy the rocket before it can hit its target. The interceptor missile uses advanced guidance systems and can be launched from a mobile launcher or a stationary battery. The Iron Dome has been highly effective in intercepting rockets, with a reported success rate of around 90%. However, it is not a foolproof system, and some rockets do occasionally get through. Despite this, the Iron Dome has saved countless lives and has become a critical part of Israel's defense strategy. The success of the Iron Dome has also inspired other countries to develop similar systems. The United States, for example, has developed the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System, while South Korea has developed the Korean Air and Missile Defense System, both of which are based on similar principles as the Iron Dome. Israel's Iron Dome defense system is a sophisticated air defense system designed to intercept and destroy incoming rockets, missiles, and other aerial threats. The system comprises several components, including radar, command and control center, and missile interceptors, all working together to detect and intercept incoming threats. The system's radar is its primary sensor, and it uses a combination of different radar technologies to detect incoming rockets and missiles. The radar is designed to track multiple targets. 
simultaneously and provides data to the command and control center, which processes the information and makes decisions on whether to launch interceptors. The command and control center is the brain of the system, and it receives data from the radar and other sensors. The center processes this data and determines whether an incoming rocket poses a threat to a populated area. If the rocket is deemed a threat, the system will launch an interceptor missile to destroy it in midair. The Iron Dome's interceptor missile is a highly maneuverable missile designed to intercept and destroy incoming rockets and missiles. The missile uses advanced guidance systems, including a proximity fuse, to detonate near the target, ensuring a high probability of destroying the incoming threat. The interceptor missile is launched from a launcher unit, which can be either a mobile or a stationary battery. Each battery contains several launcher units, with each launcher capable of firing multiple interceptor missiles. The system's mobility is one of its key features, as it allows it to be quickly deployed to areas that are under threat. One of the Iron Dome's most unique features is its, shoot to kill, approach. Unlike other missile defense systems, which rely on explosive warheads to destroy incoming missiles, the Iron Dome's interceptor missile uses kinetic energy to destroy the target. This approach minimizes the risk of collateral damage and ensures that any explosive payload carried by the incoming missile is neutralized in midair. The Iron Dome's design is a testament to Israel's technological expertise and its commitment to protecting its citizens from the threat of missile attacks. The system's combination of advanced radar, command and control, and interceptor missiles has proven highly effective in intercepting and destroying incoming threats, making it a critical component of Israel's defense strategy. The Iron Dome's advanced radar system is capable of detecting and tracking multiple incoming threats simultaneously, providing real-time data on their trajectory, speed, and altitude. The radar system can also differentiate between rockets that are likely to hit populated areas and those that will land in open areas, allowing the system to prioritize its intercepts. The Iron Dome's interceptor missile is a highly maneuverable missile that is designed to intercept and destroy incoming threats. The missile's guidance system is capable of adjusting its trajectory mid-flight, ensuring that it can intercept even highly maneuverable targets. The missile's kinetic kill mechanism ensures that the incoming threat is destroyed without the need for explosive warheads, reducing the risk of collateral damage. The Iron Dome system is highly mobile and can be rapidly deployed to areas that are under threat. The system's mobility ensures that it can respond quickly to changing threats and can be positioned in strategic locations to provide the most effective defense. The Iron Dome's launcher units can fire multiple interceptor missiles in rapid succession, ensuring that the system can engage multiple threats simultaneously. This capability is critical in scenarios where multiple rockets or missiles are fired at the same time. The Iron Dome's software is constantly updated and refined to improve the system's capabilities. The software uses advanced algorithms to predict the trajectory of incoming threats and to optimize the system's response. The software can also adapt to changing threats, ensuring that the system remains effective against new and emerging threats. The Iron Dome is designed to work in conjunction with other Israeli air defense systems, including the David Sling and Arrow missile defense systems. This interoperability ensures that the Israeli military has a layered defense against a wide range of threats. The exact cost of the Iron Dome defense system is difficult to determine, as it is a complex system with many components and factors that can affect the cost. However, it is estimated that the cost per interceptor missile is between $50,000 and $100,000, and the cost of each battery, which includes the radar, 
Command and Control Center, and Launcher Units, is estimated to be around $50 million. Since the Iron Dome system is primarily used by the Israeli military, the cost of the system is borne by the Israeli government. However, the United States has provided significant financial assistance to Israel to develop and procure the Iron Dome system, as well as other missile defense systems. As of 2021, the United States has provided over $1.5 billion in funding for the Iron Dome program. This funding has been used to support the development, testing, and deployment of the system, as well as to purchase interceptor missiles and other components. The Iron Dome defense system has been exported to a few countries, including Azerbaijan and the United States. In 2018, the United States deployed its first Iron Dome battery to Israel for testing and evaluation purposes, and subsequently purchased additional batteries in 2019. In 2020, Azerbaijan also announced that it had acquired the Iron Dome system from Israel. It is worth noting that the export of the Iron Dome system is subject to strict export control regulations, and Israel carefully evaluates each potential sale on a case-by-case -case basis. Overall, the Iron Dome's capabilities make it a highly effective defense system against a wide range of threats. Its ability to detect and track incoming threats, rapidly launch multiple interceptors, and destroy threats with a high degree of accuracy has made it a critical component of Israel's defense strategy. What an incredible journey we've been on exploring the power of the Iron Dome defense system. From its groundbreaking technology to its awe-inspiring demonstrations of strength, we hope you've enjoyed learning about this incredible system as much as we have. If you want to stay up to date with all the latest Iron Dome news and updates, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of our latest videos. And if you love this video, please show your support by hitting the like button and leaving a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this revolutionary defense system. Thank you for joining us on this adventure, and we can't wait to share more exciting content with you soon.